So when the MSI Clutch GM51 Lightweight landed on my desk, I had many questions. The first one being, wait what, MSI make mice? But to my surprise, the GM51 actually isn't that bad. And what's probably more important, given the current direction of the mouse industry and what kind of exorbitant prices companies are expecting you to pay for the most basic of mice, the kind of approach MSI are taking here is pretty much essential to keep the mouse market healthy. But let's start off with some basics. The GM51 does come with both wired and wireless variants, and while the wired one is gonna cost you roughly $70, the wireless one will cost you $100, which is definitely on the more expensive side of these mid-range mice. However, the quality does kind of add up to the price. The first major concern I had with this mouse is when I seen that it's a mere 75 grams. Yep, it's a light boy, if the, you know, lightweight name didn't already give it away. And while I generally prefer my mice on the fatter side, it isn't actually that bad. I honestly expected 75 grams to feel a lot flimsier than this. And especially with a lot of these more mid-range mice, you generally don't want your mouse to feel light or poorly and cheaply built. And this thing certainly doesn't feel cheaply built. The 75 grams does provide some much needed heft, while the overall construction quality is still pretty good for the price, and it does sit comfortably in your hand. But with one major exception, the scroll wheel, which has this super weird texture on it, which I don't think I fully agree with, but your mileage may vary. But the texture isn't the only thing that makes it feel weird. It neither has a set satisfying click or smooth roll to truly make it feel at home under your finger. Now thankfully the other four buttons do feel pretty nice to click. And yes there are four buttons with two more on the side that are of course fully programmable. But more on that later. But here's the thing, I kind of like that there's an additional button at the bottom for DPI switching. Which while definitely very very awkward to get to is a nice feature to have. And honestly I know it's more convenient to have it on top of the mouse rather than at the bottom. I almost prefer this way because the amount of times I accidentally click my DPI switch on my Logitech G502 let you say that's the last thing you want to do when you're in a stressful gunfight in Rainbow Six Siege. But of course we also have to talk about the most important feature, the RGB. Because apart from the illuminated MSI logo, you get a pretty awesome looking RGB array on the side, which I gotta say, not only looks good but almost hypnotic in a way. I could honestly stare at this for days, if not weeks. In fact, I have been, that's why this review has taken so long to come out. And like I mentioned earlier, this thing comes in both wired and wireless form. And while I unfortunately only have the wired one here, which is probably the least desirable one of the two for most people, it is a pretty good wire. Not only is it braided, but it is also long, a whopping 2 meters in fact, which is like 4 times the height of me. But okay, okay, I can't avoid it forever. Let's talk about the software. MSI Center is a confusing app that recommends you install Norton way too many times. However, when it works correctly, you can do some pretty nifty stuff with the mouse in the software, including DPI adjustments, which by the way, you can go all the way to 26,000 DPI if you have no self-respect, polling rate adjustments, and even some pretty cool stuff like liftoff distance, even if you don't get too many options there. And at the end of the day, does that all add up to $70 worth of value, or maybe even 100 well, that kind of depends on how cynical you are. I mean, getting into this, I thought that this mouse is going to have the quality of some bundled product you just throw in with, with some promotion or whatever, but it actually turned out being much more solid than I imagined. Not only does it actually feel like a more high-end product, despite the 75 gram weight, but the rest of the specs are also very impressive for the price. And again, given the current prices you see for mice out there, this is still one of those bastions of more sensible pricing that I guess we have to cherish while it still exists. So if you want to get it yourself, then make sure to use Amazon links down in the video description below. And while you're still here, maybe check out our Patreon, because even a single dollar month truly goes a long way, while you get awesome perks as well. I'd also like to thank my existing patrons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, Eki B, Justin Rage, Elof Ronyak, Valosh Volker, Max Sumner, Shane Uncroft, Lansby, Sharon Odgan, and Level Up. Down is gonna find our merch store, our Discord server, and our social media links as well. But anyway, that's about it, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all whenever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.